Hello, my name's Jason, call sign 2 Echo 1 Hotel Kilowaska. And we're going to take a quick look at the uh, Anytone 779UV. Right, I've got one here. What do you get in the pack? Well, the pack I purchased this from uh, Moonraker here in the UK. Basically you get the clips, uh, the microphone holder, the actual bracket itself for the radio, the microphone, obviously, nice microphone, it's actually backlit, you can't actually see it there. And also the USB programming cable, uh, which I'll uh, demonstrate shortly, so you can see the both ends there as well. I've actually got the radio connected at the moment, as you can see. Um, I've got some screenshots to the right hand side or some photographs I've took just so you can see how how good the clarity of the um, TFT I think it's about 1.44 inch TFT display um, this particular <coughs> radio as well comes with uh, I purchased this pre-programmed so it's got 500 channels uh, so it's got all the 270 repeaters in there as well the power output uh, setting on this radio is I think it's 5, 10 and 25 watts, so low, mid and high. The radio actually comes with it programmed uh, to the 10, 10 watt setting, which is medium. Uh, I'm just going to cut through to cut over to a video I've done. Uh, I've had this radio now for about three weeks and uh, got out mobile with it over the Easter break. So I'll uh, just show you a little video. This is 2 Echo 1 Hotel Kilo Oscar Portable in Leicestershire, checking access to GB3 and P. Yeah, M3 BBW. Yeah, um, Grace just called in. You're making it for a pizza, no problem at all. Name's Reg, I'm in Bletchley. Um, you're making it for first, fully quiet thing for the repeat of this. M3 BBW, yes, it's, um, I'm just on some high ground, tilting on the hill in Leicestershire, uh, just, just, uh, putting a Anytone 779 UV, uh, quite a compact little UHF, VHF, um, radio through its paces, so I was just flicking around just seeing what repeaters I can hear and, uh, what ones, uh, I can access, so, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, let you catch on, uh, carry on, I'll say 73s from uh, 2E1 HKO uh, Portable, uh, tilting on a hill in Leicestershire. Yeah, 2E0 HKO Portable, yeah, okay then, uh, I'd like to have your name just to be logged there, uh, before you go, if, if, if you don't mind. Uh, but yeah, again, you're making it very, uh, very well into the, you're making it really well into the repeat, so no problem at all. Uh, no, no background noise or anything, really good audio. Anyway, back to you from M3BW. To E1HKO uh, Portable Returning. Yeah, I'll take your name as well, actually. You're, I'm just confirming your call sign, Mike 3 Bravo Bravo Whiskey. Yeah, it's 2E1HKO Portable. The name here is Jason. Juliet, Alpha, Sierra, Oscar, November. Right, welcome back. Yeah, you can see um, how small and compact the radio is. It's very small indeed. A lot of the functions themselves can be obviously uh, done by using the interface keys here, switch between VFO mode and memory mode, um, up and down, change frequency, but the memory channels you will have to uh, change using the software. Um, but anyway, I'll just show you a quick uh, function in relation to the scan mode. So we're just scanning now as well. I've got a lot of the simplex frequencies already programmed in. You can toggle up and down as well so I can scan on continue scanning as you can see the screen looks a bit washed out with this webcam image but uh, hence the photos on the right will really show the true colors 
Now on top of this radio, it does actually say <coughs> that this gets very hot. Warning, caution there. The radio does get very warm indeed. The maximum operating temperature of this is plus 60 C. Now I've actually d took some temperature readings after f two five minute QSOs, one on medium power and uh, one, on, one on high. So I'll just cut to those now. So the one on the left there is uh, after f a five minute QSO on medium power. So um, <coughs> it does get warm. It's uh, warm, or you could say hot to the touch. And on the right hand side was a five minute QSO on, on high power. So wherever you mount these in your vehicle, um, obviously ensure there's plenty of ventilation using the bracket as well, or, or maybe even um, fixing a uh, little 12 volt fan just to uh, take some of the heat away. Now what I'm going to demonstrate next, I'll just cut to uh, another shot I've done. That's the bottom of the radio there. Uh, those little circular um, circles are just basically pads I've put on myself, just on the bottom of the radio, just to stop, stop them uh, scratching as I've had it here at my QTH. Right, now we've cut over to the um, software side of it. Now I'll just cut back to the um, radio itself. So I'll do this while I'm actually on screen. So turn the radio off. Simply unplug the uh, microphone there and connecting the uh, USB lead there into the microphone socket. Uh, then I'll uh, obviously plug the other end into the PC. So I'm actually going to do this um, live now so I'll just go over and just put that into the PC I'll cut over to the screenshot for you shortly right okay so I'll just get to the uh, screen now uh, that um, you can see the Anytone icon which is there I'll open up that that's the software interface as you see it. Now, what you have to do is obviously set the COM. Now, just try the COM ports, just try each one and you'll know if you get the right one or not. So anyway, so I'll switch the radio back on. So the radio uh, is on now. So what I'll do is I'll go to, set it to that one, uh, program, read from radio are you sure you want to read yes there and there we go I say this come pre-programmed so as you can see I've got uh, all the simplex frequencies already programmed in Just scroll down oops complete there you go So you can see the RX, RX, TX, channel name, step, channel spacing, TX power. So you'd simply to change the power, you would um, double click and then you can change low, middle or high or low, mid and high. So I think it's five watts low, 10 medium and 25 watts high. Um, but that's it really. So I mean, uh, I'll just scroll down a bit more as well so you can just see all the channel memories that have been programmed it come programmed obviously all day I'll just scroll right down to the bottom there you go a bit of a gap there this looks like some PMR 446 and some marine frequencies in there as well obviously you can't transmit on those 
even though it says high on the power it won't allow you to transmit anyway but anyway that's the um, Anytone 779 UV mobile well you could call it a uh, micro transceiver it's quite quite small anyway I'll say 73s and um, catch you soon